Baker Mayfield, Oklahoma. Nick Chubb, Georgia. OBJ, I'm him. Jarvis Landry, the jungle. Damian Ratley, Yokel, Texas. Demetrius Harris, Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Greg Robinson, Auburn. Joel Batonio, Nevada. J.C. Treader, Cornell. Eric Cush, California University of Pennsylvania. Justin McCray, University of Central Florida. So they come to the line of scrimmage, the 25 after the touchback. Running back is Nick Chubb. 180! Off the play fake, rolling out, and the pass is caught at the 33-yard line. And that's Jarvis Landry, fights his way down the sideline for a gain of 10. And a first half, and let's take a look at that ramp defense. Michael Brockers, LSU. Aaron Donald, Pitt. Clay Matthews, USC. Corey Littleton, Washington. Dante Fowler Jr., Florida. Akeem Jaleed, Kansas. Mikhail Roby Coleman, USC. Taylor Rapp, Washington. John Johnson, Boston College. Eric Weddle, Utah. Marcus Peters, West Oakland, California. The final of the NFL, those are some well known cats and wound up at 20 and a half. Yep. No sacks uh, yeah, yet yeah. for him this season. Three-man line. That's all they rush. And the pass is incomplete. First pass intended tonight for Odell Beckham Jr. Corey Littleton, a real unsung guy, a really good player, pro bowler last year, covering. But, uh, a lot of swagger, a lot of confidence. Resolute is driven. He drives that one into the arms of Beckham for a first down up at the 49-yard line. Baker Mayfield knows how to throw those RPOs, so start one way, the linebacker leans just a little bit, and that guy right there, Odell Beckham, the best in the National Football League since he came in the league and running those slants. Always dangerous. Play fake, right on the money. Beckham to the 34. Odell, of course, with the Giants so many years, had that 89-yard Touchdown reception in his old stopping grounds last Monday night. Just reading Johnson right there. If he sits still, then he's going to hand off. If not, he's throwing that slant in behind. So always a tough position for that dime linebacker to be. To the outside, Beckham. And he'll get wrestled down by Fowler. And that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. The receivers all set to the right side. Mayfield looks left. Mayfield under pressure. Avoids a sack for the moment. And throws incomplete. Beckham was the intended receiver. Double covered. It was Michael Brockers, number 90. Put the pressure on that time in his fourth down. Loves being back with his buddy Landry, who was known since high school. Mayfield chase. That's Donald chasing him and fires deep downfield and incomplete. Intended for Landry. After the missed field goal, they start from the 38-yard line. And Mayfield over the middle of wide open Jarvis Landry for a big game to the 36-yard line. Jarvis Landry, the second catch of the night, good for 26 yards. Got a lurk right there from John Johnson, and he almost had it. I'm not sure Baker ever saw him. Just a slight hesitation. And Baker quick enough to get that one in there. Third and 14. Mayfield fires deep downfield and almost caught but incomplete. Landry right there. Good coverage by Nikel Roby Coleman, who will go down in history, of course, is the man who should have been called for pass interference in New Orleans and was not. Well, this is a tremendous play. How many times have we seen Jarvis Landry come down with this ball right here? And yet it was Roby Coleman who got his hands up between the arms and able to knock that one away. Andre and Odell Beckham are so good when you just throw that ball up and give them a chance. But these corners for the Rams are equally as good, and now they swing a safety over the top of those two guys. Landry and Beckham both split to the right side on the second down and 10. Mayfield throwing, and that's incomplete. Landry looks for a flag, and is none. A keep to lead coverage, and it's going to make it third down and 10. 
Yeah, that's what makes the Rams so tough there. That looked for all the world like man coverage. Baker Mayfield was not wrong for reading it that way. And yet at the last second, you saw the corner at the top of the screen fall underneath this thing and really almost had a chance to pick it off. That's what Wade Phillips does. He disguises defenses so well. I sit there sometimes and I watch them a step, two steps of the quarterback going back, and I still don't know what it is. <laughs> Ten from the 25-yard line. That's a big, and it's about a five-yard pickup there for Odell Beckham. Well, that's what they did when they got it going in the first half. That's exactly what they did. Field, and that's one of the things they wanted to do. They want to get Donald, who wants to get up the field and trap him and wham him and do some different things to him. Quickly, Beckham, and he cannot scoot away from Roby Coleman. Clay Matthews is also there. Short game pick of two, second down and eight. This was the hardest coverage to try to beat. It's two man. They're going to have two safeties down the field, man underneath everywhere else. You can see people chasing all over the field. And so there really just was nowhere to go. And what we've seen so far, this offense and this passing game has been non-existent when Baker Mayfield has held the ball longer than two, 2.5 seconds. That's the definition of a... But you can't cover it any better than Troy Hill did. Let's see how handsy he got here on the top end of the route. Too handsy. <laughs> Shot. Second down and eight. If you chased out, keeps his eyes down the field, fires. What a, and what a catch. That's Beckham, of course. Eric Weddle beats Weddle on the play. He takes the ball to Rams territory. This dude is Spider-Man. This is a shot of a throw, but he's going to get hit right when it hits his hands and hit hard, and he doesn't even hold it in both hands. He just holds it in one hand out there. That's crazy. On this series. Well, you knew it was going to happen. There's Beckham on the inside slot. He was going to try and work his way all the way across the field, but no way they were giving him an opportunity. Double coverage on him. And every time Baker's had to pull that thing down tonight, bad things have happened. Pressure, but he's got to stay in there on that one. He had time to let this thing happen. Let's take a look at what happened down the field. There's Beckham. And those zone defenses that... They do such a great job of disguising what they're doing. They do a little subtle difference of that. Pressure on again. Mayfield fires. Caught inside the 40. This Landry picks up a block and takes it to the 28-yard line. Tackle by John Johnson. First down. Clock running a minute and a half. Takes it to the 28-yard line. Spread him out. Blitz coming, Mayfield fires high, and that was all caused by the pressure that was coming from the Rams on the outside, second down and goal. Yeah, you hear us talk about a zero blitz, and what that means is there's no safety in the middle of the field, but what that also means, there's one more guy that's blitzing, then you have blockers up there. So you have five blockers, and here comes six guys, so you have to throw it that fast. Fourth down, here's your ball game. And the pass is picked off in the end zone. Johnny Johnson, who had an interception last week, will end it, and the Rams will fly home with a victory intended for Ratley. So on fourth down, the safety Johnny Johnson, the third-year guy out of Boston College, with the big interception. There's only one story to be written. When this team is not throwing the ball quickly. They don't have the tackles to be able to hold up against this kind of pass rush. And all too often, it was that sort of fadeaway jumper tonight from Baker Mayfield.